Lucky I'm in love with my best friend. Lucky to have been where I have been. Lucky to be coming home again. Ooh. Hey! Ooh. Stop the song! We should do our project now! Okay, okay fine! Oh my god! So we should start it with viscosity? Um, okay then! I guess so. So you guys know what viscosity is? Um, viscosity is how quickly fluids flow. And it is measured by using the ramp method. Mmm, I see, I see. Well then, guys wanna do it? Yeah? Yeah? Sure. Okay, let's do it! Yeah! Now we are going to test which has the highest and lowest viscosity. Is it the hand wash, the maple syrup, or the body wash? So, we can see that the body wash has the highest viscosity. Well, the maple syrup has the lowest viscosity. Why is the body wash has the highest viscosity, while the maple syrup has the lowest viscosity? The body wash has the highest viscosity because the particles in the body wash are closer together, while the particles in the maple syrup are farther apart. about density. This is the Shell Gang. Christine Rigor, Mia Castro, reporting. Live, live, live. What is density? Density is the amount of matter in a given volume. But how do you calculate density? You can calculate density by using this formula. Mass divided by volume is equal to density. We should give an example for the audience. This is a glass of salty water and this is a glass of plain water. Now I'm going to put an egg in the plain water. Will it sink or will it float? Sink, sink, sink! Float, float, float! And the egg sank. Yeah! And now I'm going to put an egg in the salty water. Sink, sink, sink! Float, float, float! And the egg float! Yeah! Why did the egg sink in the plain water but it floated in the salty water? The egg sank in the plain water because the particles in the plain water are far away from each other and it has more spaces for the egg. The egg floated in the salty water because the particles are closer to each other. The salt particles filled up the spaces in the water. And, and this, this is the end of our report about, about density. Wow, wow, we. about buoyancy. Yo! What is buoyancy? Buoyancy is a, is a, is a tendency to flow, to flow, to flow. Oh, so that's the meaning of buoyancy. Yeah. Now, look at this. Mia, look at this! Whoa! Why is that paper sinking and this one is floating? This is a glass of hot water, while this is a glass of cold water. So, what's the difference? They're both water. The particles of the hot water are far away from each other. It's hard to push the paper up, while the particles of cold water are close to each other. It makes the paper float because it doesn't have much space spaces for the paper to go down. Whoa, that's amazing! I know, right? Hello everyone! Welcome to the Annual Science Fair 2010. Today, we have one partner contestant that will be doing an experiment about compressibility. Here are the Shell and Mia. Okay, so we have three water bottles here. <clears throat> this one contains rock, this one contains water, and this one contains gas. Solid, liquid, and gas. Which is easier to compress? Solid, liquid, or gas? Well, let's see. As you can see, the solid one is hard to compress. Why was it hard to compress? 
it was hard to compress because the particles of the solid are closely packed. Ah, okay. You should try to compress the liquid one. Why was it hard to compress? It was hard to compress because the pressure is equally distributed. And lastly, you should try to compress the empty water bottle. Why was it easy to compress? Because the particles of gas are far away from each other and that makes it easier to compress. Ah, I think we have a winner. Drum roll, please. The winners are the Shell and Mia. Yay! And that ends the science contest. See you next week. Goodbye. At last, we're finally done. Yeah. We want to have fun. Sure. Christine Rigor, Mia Castro, reporting. reporting. <laughs> wow! But how do you calculate density? You can calculate density by using this formula. Mass divided by density. <laughs> Whoa! Why is that paper floating? <laughs> oh my god! Oh my god! Rock solid. <laughs> Thank <laughs> <laughs> you.